Hello and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever 2. In this episode, we'll be getting this cargo hub up and running with at least one line and going around the map and making a few other changes that need to be made at this point. So there's two goods that we can probably pretty easily connect up to this cargo hub and that's going to be fuel from this uh, fuel line over here and tools from this tool line here. Now at the moment there's not really any other resources nearby that we could easily connect up. We do have our food area over here but I'm not too sure yet how we want to get that from this processing plant to the cargo hub. We could either choose to do that by boat or by train. I think both of those would be equally effective. So we'll leave that for another time. So with that, let's get started on connecting some lines up to our cargo hub. So starting off here with our uh, fuel line, I think first we're going to need to essentially upgrade this line so that it's able to output and produce a lot more. So we'll want to come over here, grab this line. I think we'll want to manage the vehicles, see if we have any new larger oil tankers, which we have this uh, tanker tow boat here that can carry 200 and I think that might be our best and fastest oil transporter at the moment. So we'll replace these and we might even get two more ships in this line. Although somehow we're getting an error. We'll have to figure out what's going on there. Alright, so I guess there isn't really an issue since this boat is making its way over there, but anyway we should be able to transport a little bit more oil from over here to the fuel refinery area. And just taking a look here, it looks like it definitely probably could use a bit more, so hopefully that extra boat will help out. And I think our trucks that are transporting the oil over to the refinery are doing just fine, considering this station's pretty much empty. So then next, all that we have to do is adjust this line so that instead of going all the way to Jackson and Scottsdale, we'll have it stop here first, and then we'll add another boat line that'll take it from here to the city. So we'll come in here, manage the line. Let's pause so we don't get a ton of errors straight away. And we'll just add in a new station right there. Not too sure why it's calling this a bus and tram station, but that looks correct. We'll make sure it's only unloading and we should be good to leave that. Now one thing we don't have in this area is a shipyard. So let's just quickly build one out quick if it's easy enough. So we'll sort of just continue leveling out this area and we'll have a nice little spot around here where we can fit the shipyard and have all the ships come out of. So hopefully we can get this to just sit probably about here. And maybe we can try to just get a few, make it look a little nicer. So I think two like that looks pretty decent so we'll keep that and then maybe later on we'll sort of design this a bit more to fit in with the rest of the cargo hub but anyway now we can come in 
and grab some more boots. So we'll grab some of these. I believe three should be good, considering I think we had four on the last line. And we'll have them come from here into Jackson at this port, I believe number five. And again, we'll specify to only load fuel and to only unload over in Jackson. So letting this run now, we have our boats coming out and they'll be on their way in no time. And hopefully we should see, I believe these, start making their way towards the cargo hub. So now that we got that fuel line set up, we can now come over and set up this tool line. And I think we're going to keep this direct line to Modesto for now. I think eventually we're going to delete it once we get more resources here and we can move all the resources to Modesto in one train. But for now we'll keep that tool line. And then I'm thinking maybe the best way to go about connecting it up is going from our cargo hub here and working towards the tool factory instead of the other way around. So we'll grab our track here and I think we'll actually want to start with this one. And we'll try to bring this over. Let's see if we can maybe connect up to the side of the tracks at some point. Although it doesn't seem like it really wants to connect to this side. So we'll have to pull this back a bit. And we'll want to keep it level. Alright, so we'll come out straight for a little bit. And then right about here we can begin the curve. And it's going to be a fairly sharp curve, I think. Considering we have to get on this side of the tracks in order to do what we want. But our cargo trains won't ever be going this fast, this close to the station anyway. So I'm okay with that being like a 130 mile an hour thing. So then we'll just have to bring it back under these tracks. And hopefully at some point we can get it to connect back and cross over again. So after a little bit of figuring things out, I think this works out pretty well because we're able to connect up here and hopefully, yeah, we can come out of the same tunnel this way. So now we can just follow along with these tracks and we can follow this pretty much almost all the way to Modesto up until we get about probably here-ish and then we can curve off we actually might want to split a little bit earlier than that so we'll pull this back probably to about here and then we can curve around and pretty much connect right up to the, these tracks. So again, it looks like we'll reach our slowest speed of 133 miles an hour, but I don't think that really matters for our cargo trains since I believe at the moment they're limited to uh, 75, and I don't even know if cargo trains can get up to those kinds of top speeds anyway. So then we can connect this right up to the station and we have our line connected. So we'll follow this back with a second track and hopefully all of this weird stuff works out as we come out of this tunnel. And that looks good. So then we should just need to follow this all the way to the tools factory. And then we just need to 
set up our signals and our little merging uh, crossing points at each station and then we'll be good to get a train running. So eventually I think we'll have a line that continues to go straight and follows these tracks into Modesto but at the moment we'll leave this as it is and now the final thing we have to do is connect up this track to here and then we'll be good to go. Alright so we got our track connected up and it's not as clean as I'd like it to be but again this terrain does provide quite a bit of challenges for us. We also added some extra tracks here to really make this look like trains will be coming in and out of this specific area. So let's just connect up these tracks so that they look like they would be getting used. And we'll have to figure out a nice neat way to do that. So I think doing something like this doesn't look too terrible. Of course it could be neater and cleaner and maybe we will come back and redo this but I think for now it's good so let's just get in here quick and add some of those gates again so that it looks about right. I think we might have to delete this one and then we'll come back in here. We want five of these and we'll just have to set the size so that it matches with exactly what we want. So it looks like these will do the trick. We'll just place that. And I think this looks somewhat decent. So let's get in here, build our train that's going to carry our tools in. And then maybe we'll even think about where we'll be sending those tools. All right, so the train we're gonna go with is this Nickel plate 284 class S2 with a good amount of boxcars behind it, enough to carry just under 200 tools. And we have a top speed of 75 miles an hour, and we can reach that speed in about two to three minutes, depending on the slope. So we'll go with this train, we'll just have one, and that will go from over here to the cargo hub and then we'll also specify over in Modesto to only load tools and at the cargo hub to unload everything that it has. So here we can see it coming out of our train depot and this engine looks pretty nice so I'm pretty happy with this train and that should be up and running. Now the only thing we have to figure out is where we're going to send these tools since I believe Jackson and Scottsdale are getting their own tools. So they're getting their tools from over here. So those boats are going all the way across here to get those tools into Jackson. And I think what we could do is have them stop here, drop off more tools, and then we can have another line that brings them into Jackson instead of having that one long line that comes all the way across. So here's the line that has these tools. We'll come in and manage this line so instead of going to Jackson it will come into here and we'll set this to the terminal next to where the fuel line's coming in. Again, we'll make sure it's unloading everything when it gets here. And then all we'll need to do is add one more line coming from Santa Clarita into Jackson. So let's roll with some of these boats since they're the fastest boats we have. And before they were running three boats, but let's try running four and see what happens with that. So then we'll have it come from the cargo hub over to Jackson and we'll set these 
correctly, so it's only picking up tools. And I believe this is all set up exactly how we want it. So fast forwarding here, hopefully before long we'll begin to see tools piling up at this port. Now coming back to this tools factory quick, I think we'll want to just upgrade a bunch of the stuff over here. So let's start with the roads and we'll upgrade the road connection between here. We'll have that be as a paved highway. Do the same all the way down to the tools factory. Although it looks like this one we might just have to upgrade to a smaller road. And then first we'll upgrade these trucks to something hopefully significantly bigger. So it looks like these ones probably they can carry about twice as much and reach a higher top speed. So we'll do the same for this line as well. We'll grab these covered trucks and we'll replace all of those and hopefully we'll see a significant increase in the output for these tools. Alright, so it looks like we're going to be getting our first shipment of tools to our cargo hub and we should see that instantly populate this dock here. So that's good to see and hopefully soon one of those boats will be back here to ship it over to Jackson. So while we let this run for a little bit and start to sort of get, get itself set, I want to come back to Jackson and take a look at this train station. As we can see here, these bus stops are getting very heavy use based on these numbers and we can see here in the charts. We're not usually pushing the limits of the capacity here but there are a few times where it gets very full and I think having a bus station somewhere near here will definitely help us sort of future proof this station and allow us to have much higher throughput in the area. So probably the hardest thing is figuring out where we want this bus station. And there's a few spots I've been thinking about. I think one's probably either here or here in these lots next to the park. But I don't want to get rid of these buildings that we've spent time placing and detailing. And another option is on the ends of the streets over here and over here. And I'm slightly more inclined to put it over on this side since the terrain's a little flatter and it seems like it'd probably slot in quite nicely, especially with this parking lot here. It would pretty easily just cap off this end and sort of give us a nice resolution to this sort of open-ended road. So let's delete these two stops and We'll even delete that road. So we'll come in here, grab our bus station, and we'll have to rotate this perfectly with our station. And then pretty much what we can do is line this up. I think that's pretty good. We'll place it down and this is our bus station over here. So you can see the ground gets a little weird, gets like raised up over here. I'm not sure if that's how it was before or not, but I think we'll leave that how it is for now and maybe we'll come back and redo this area. But now that we have this bus station, we can come in and grab some of these passenger buildings. I think we'll get one there and Maybe getting one here wouldn't look too bad considering the parking lot, but I'm not too sold on that. 
but maybe we'll just go with it and see what it looks like. As I don't think this looks too terrible, we'll just have to do a little bit of blending to make it seem a little more natural. So to help this fit in, we'll delete a few parking spaces here and there to accommodate the terrain change. So we can do that. And then we'll come into our terrain tools. We'll flatten out the area around. And then smooth it out just to give the terrain a nice finish. And that looks like that might have just messed up all of our parking spots. So we'll have to come back in here Flatten this all out if we can. Looks like some areas it worked, some areas maybe not so much. Well, it looks like it just got rid of it in some areas. Okay, and so we did just end up deleting all these parking spots and we smoothed it out so it looks more natural coming to the road. And I think this is looking a lot better. I think we'll leave this station for now. And we'll make sure that these are set on the proper terminals. And this can carry significantly more people than the bus stops that we had here before. And we can still clearly see that it's still connected up to the train station, so it should function just as it did before, just with higher capacity and hopefully a little more throughput. Another little extra bonus that this bus station has is it sort of helps populate these sidewalks as we'll see people walking between the train station and the bus station and it'll help to provide a little bit of life to the area until the cities start to make their way out here. So it looks like now all of our goods are now functioning and flowing through the cargo hub pretty much as intended and everything seems to be going pretty well over here. So the last thing we're going to do in this video is just sort of smooth out the edges out here by the train station. Um, there's still obviously work to be done. A few things we could add, a few things we could detail, a few things that could look a little nicer, and we'll get there as we sort of see fits, because I would like to have sort of like a train yard here. So we'll leave this flat and empty, but we will finish off this cliff face that we've created and make it a little nicer since we're probably not going to touch it for a little bit. So we can come in here, grab our brush, and smooth this all out. Alright, so we have the terrain mostly sloped out and we tried to get rid of the steep slopes where we could but I think some areas are just going to have to deal with it for now without doing a massive amount of terraforming. So we'll leave that and then the last thing we're gonna do in this video I think is redo this road into Scottsdale so we have one larger connection for trucks when we get there eventually. So I think what I want to do is delete this road and pull it back a little bit as I think this will turn into our main road that comes up and through and this sort of highway here will just connect into it so we'll pull this back a bit as well and then we'll have to delete this bridge which I'm sure is very nice for the boats as they don't have to navigate as many pillars and we'll come through Delete this road, probably back to about here. We'll leave this here for now, but then we'll come through. At some point this is going to transition into a four lane highway. And then now we can first build the bridge, since that's probably going to be probably the biggest thing with this. So that looks about level with the train tracks. And over here it looks a little, just a little too close. And 
and it looks like we got the same thing. We'll have to come out a bit more. I think we might have to flatten out the terrain first. So we'll get this real small and flatten this out. All right, now I think we have our spacing set. So let's see if we can get a bridge that looks somewhat decent through here. And we could always just match what was here before, which I don't mind. Maybe a suspension bridge. I'm not the biggest fan of that, although we might actually go with this. I don't think it's too bad. Let's look at a few other options. We have these bridges. We have something more like this. And then something a little like this. And I think just because of it being next to a train track, I think the suspension bridge is actually going to be our best option because it allows for much more space for the boats to come through and under here. And I think it just looks a lot cleaner than having a million pillars underneath the road. So we'll build this and everything looks good here. I think eventually we'll also do the same for this train track when we upgrade it or if we feel like we want to replace it. Or maybe we'll just leave it as is since the train track is more of a low-profile bridge. But now we can continue connecting up these roads. And we'll start on this side. So we'll just curve this around. Like so. And then just connect it here. Where we can upgrade that then. All the way, I'd say to that intersection. And then we can bring this road back around so that we have an intersection here. And then we just have to connect this road and this highway. So figuring out where it's going to transition from road to highway will probably depend on where this intersection happens. But we'll bring this up this way. And then let's see if we can get something decent if we come a little sharper and then connect up like this. Yeah, this slope isn't too bad and that's quite a nice road. So we'll do that. And then as for this highway, we'll have that come in and maybe connect here. I think we should maybe pull this back a little bit so that it can slope up a little more gently. Or maybe we have to do that ourselves with the terrain. So we'll do something like this. And then we'll just smooth that all out. And so this gives us a significantly better slope and connection. And this road looks pretty good, so... Maybe we just upgrade this to a street all the way to the bridge, if we just do this, and do that, just so it looks continuous through here. So yeah, I think we'll do that, and everything will be good here. And I think eventually this road will connect up over to Santa Clarita somewhere, and maybe even up to Birmingham. I'm not sure how we're going to end up doing that connection. But now we have our road connection ready if we ever want to bring goods in by truck. Which, there might not be too many at the moment that we could do. But maybe we could try to do it just for variety. So with that, that's going to be all we're going to do in this episode. So if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. If you have any suggestions or feedback, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, and have a great day!